for the entire event. They were the first ones who stepped up and said, we are going to take part in this challenge for the entire event. So thank you guys for being the first ones to get the ball rolling for the entire event. Well, it's a pleasure. If Thanks it hadn't been for you, Pinder, and all the other ones, probably wouldn't have even known what we were doing. So thank you guys for stepping up saying we're going to do this. No, no problem. It seems so, like a really cool thing. That right? You yeah. And we kind of gave you a brief rundown of yeah. what you're a part of. So knowing what you're a part of and what the project is, what do you think about that? I think it's super cool. I mean, I think, you know, not all of us have enough time to, you know, volunteer and stuff throughout the day, you know, give back. And so when you can, you know, give back in other ways like this, you know, it's really kind of cool. And then as a national nonprofit, she's even better, you know, and cool. obviously I told people I would love to be able to end child hunger all over yeah. worldwide. But realistically, you know, I can't do that right now. So we start right here in our home Taking front. Taking a big step, though. Right? Yeah, do as much as you can with what yeah. you got. And you guys are a local band. Yeah, we are. Right? Yep. And we
are prohibited from, from giving. You know, I don't think it's outside of their pay, you know, to be able to help a little bit. A bag of rice. Do you yeah. realize how far one bag of rice can yeah. expand? Yeah, how cheap a bag of rice is. 88 so cents. Yeah. 88, 88 cents. cents. That's what Do you I'm realize saying. how far that can expand to yeah. once it's cooked, how far that can go? Right. I Those mean, absolutely. people like that just need to take a step out of their own shoes and like view, view it from the perspective of somebody else who didn't grow up and wasn't fortunate enough to do all that. So learn empathy too. Empathy, yeah, and you know, the hand-me-downs, I grew up with the hand-me-downs, yeah. they're not always a bad thing. I mean, look at now, the whole, what the style is, bringing back, you know, what used to be considered hand-me-downs. I mean, that's yeah. what, the style is what looks like hand-me-downs now. I mean, that's what we have, and that's not really that big of a deal. I mean, it's yeah. not, why does that have to be so degrading? You make too much, so we're not going to help you. You yeah. make too much money. You don't need our help, but in fact, they don't make enough to make ends meet, and they may be working two jobs. So, in fact, it's a lot of the middle class who are are working yeah. trying to make ends meet, and they're caught between we need to pay our electric bill or groceries. Exactly. Do we pay for food or do we pay for our car insurance? So right. it's not necessarily the ones who are on assistance or you know abusing the system Just who need the people. most help. And they are working, but yet they still have an issue with living security. You know, it, it, it sucks because, like, you know, the way that it's set up is that, you know, you can work so many hours at minimum wage, and, like, you can work 50 hours a week, and if you're the, the sole provider for a family, sometimes that just isn't enough, you know? And if you want to earn more money, you know, sometimes you got to get an education. Okay, well, they make it so hard in this country to, like, pay for college. It's ridiculous, yeah. you know? It's so hard to... And once you it's, get it's out of school, to, then you have all these extra bills and it's, stuff. It's hard to pull yourself it. up, so so, you know, any help that people can get and is And it's the stigma. It makes you feel about this big. So for a person to ask for help makes them oh, feel yeah. about this big. Nobody. So unless you've been there, you don't understand that to ask for help makes you feel very degraded. Mm -hmm. So then nobody wants to ask for help because you feel very worthless. Mm -hmm. you know? So then they're not going to ask for help because it's shameful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so... You know, shouldn't be though. You should be able to reach out to people and help. And we found out, No Kid Hungry did some research and found out that although I'm sure many of you know of like the, the free or reduced programs for, for lunch and breakfast for school, yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of kids, say they're the ones who get it for free, so their parents don't even have to pay it, they just get it for free based on income. There's a lot of kids who aren't even using it because of that stigma. They, they don't want to be seen in the lunchroom getting that breakfast because of that stigma. I don't want to be seen getting breakfast because I will be seen as the poor kid. So now the ones who still need it aren't even getting the help because they don't want to be seen as the poor kid. Exactly. So now No Kid Hungry and a lot of the other nonprofits are trying to make it where people are, the kids are going to get breakfast across the board, whether they need it or not, whether they're the ones who make enough or not, they're trying to make it where breakfast is served in the classroom all across the board. So that you know the ones who need it get it
why not? Why would? Why is there a stigma for helping someone in the first place? As if they're like, as if we're the victims for people being in need. Like, yeah. we, it doesn't need to be this passive aggressive approach. Yeah. And, and why? Why do you have to get exactly? You help somebody, then it's like, why'd you do that? Why'd you help them? Yeah. And it's just, I What's feel like with you? people just have that in their mind. I feel like that's the biggest thing is just the mindset where people think, oh, this is just it. This is just the way it is. This is the way you think. But the thing is, you kind of got to question, like, why? why? Why is this making people angry that someone's someone's Helping in a crappy person. situation yeah. Yeah. and you're you trying to help them out? Maybe some people worked 20 years and got laid off. Maybe they never needed oh, yeah. help. Maybe they lost their child. You know, maybe they're dealing with mental illness. You have to look at that, too. Mental oh, yeah. illness. Stay away, bad, or right. whatever, you know, but it's that whole, ooh, Can't bad, judge him by yep. right, exactly. he must be on drugs, he must be bad, or skateboarding, oh, stay away. I got that all the Seriously? time growing up. You know, oh, long drugs. hair, he's bad. Yeah. Seriously? I mean, Tristan, we're all in a band for a reason, we've right? got through oh, all of that. Oh, they're in a band, they're yeah. 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 
Are you kidding me? And that's what's so great about I feel like festivals with this. People kind of I feel like people can just get a break where everybody's kind of on the same page yeah. here to have fun. Definitely. I feel like. But I mean that's what I like. I like bringing the kids, and we don't. I've taught my kids not to stereotype, not to judge. Yeah. They love it. We yeah. listen to all different types of music, yeah. and they listen to Ozzy, and they listen to yeah. ICP. Yeah. The school had a fit about that because they rolled up singing Juggalo. Uh. Right? The school hated that. They're singing Juggalo and Hoodie 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 Hoodie. Uh, Hell's just spread the word. So spread the word. So remember, no kid hungry. They just helped raise a thousand meals for a child hungry in the U.S. Woo! Local, right? In Minnesota. All right. All 